In Isaiah 60, verse 5, it says, Then you shall see and be radiant. There is a vision that is being talked about here, and it's a vision that will bring you a radiance inside of your soul. This ministry is not about me. Behind every great work, deed, or action, there are usually many unsung heroes who have helped. While they may not always receive recognition that they deserve from others, you can know that God recognizes the contribution. And above all else, God knows. We are at the end of our year and many of you are giving end-of-year donations for tax purposes to this ministry. Well, realize that God knows. And God appreciates. And that God realizes that you are a hero. I couldn't financially do everything that needed to do uh, be done uh, for this ministry even now. In the beginning I did. It was much smaller then and it is something that is supported by the many people that give small, medium, and sometimes quite large donations and God recognizes God knows. I pray that the God life in you sees and becomes radiant in this action. I pray that the God life in you realizes that God recognizes even your intent to bless. It is who you are in your soul by doing something like this or by giving in other ways, by giving a work of service and a love to God, you're naturally blessed with a return of faith and love. It is multiplied, accumulative in your soul from many people and in many diverse circumstances. Blessings don't come from one direction. They flood your life. Throughout this day, I ask you to remind yourself to recognize people over this past year and beyond your lifetime that have blessed you and realize some of the greatest blessings are blessings that you weren't even aware of. People that prayed for you. People that gave to you without you knowing who it was or realizing their name. Could have been at work. Could have been a recommendation. Could have been in a relationship. Oh, I tell you, there are so many blessings. And you give thanks for the people who provide the wonderful environment in which you work and the person that makes this world possible. Just this morning, I gave thanks in my living room for the trash people that came by. I don't know their name. Truthfully, I've never met them. But oh, they bless my life and everyone else in the neighborhood. Otherwise, it would be chaos. Give blessings to the person that delivers your mail. The Amazon person. The UPS person. All these people that work so hard to make a difference in our lives. 
Give thanks for everyone that has touched your life in some way and try to give back in their nature, in their name. And that's what name means. It means nature. The God life in you with gratitude recognizes the God life in others. Now, personal note, I thank you for helping this ministry so much, helping me so much do the things that we were guided to do. It has made a difference. It has made a difference in so many lives, especially in Europe, uh, in, in some of the other countries, countries that I can hardly pronounce, countries that don't speak English and yet some way, somehow, they get our ministry, our message, and they translate it, and it makes a difference in their life. And they crave the message, the positive message of God. I wish you a very happy new year. It will be as you see and recognize the difference you make. And I pray that you do in a profound way. Amen.